Hey everyone, welcome back to HD Piano. This is Phil. Today we're going to be taking a look at 100 Years by Five for Fighting. We're going to be looking at the intro, and that's going to sound something like this. Alright, so let's get started. Today I'd like to actually start with the left hand. We're going to be in this G position right here underneath middle C. So we're a little higher than the left hand usually is. And by G position I mean your lowest note played by your pinky will be G. And we're going to sit right around this area here with your thumb on the D above middle C. And then we've got four or five notes here we're going to kind of switch back and forth in between. And uh, that the order of those notes goes like this. We've got G, then we've got C, then A, and then D. Let's play those in order one time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, then C, three, four, A, three, four, and D. Good. Now, in the next phrase, we're actually going to add two notes into the mix. We're going to add a B through middle finger, and then we're going to reach up by one note with your thumb to E. So the second phrase starts the same. It starts with a G, C, A, D, B, E, and then A and D. All right. So let's put all that together. We're going to start from the top. We're going to go G, then C. Here comes A, D, B, and then E, and then finally A and D. All right, good. And we'll come back to that in a sec, but now let's get to the hard part. We're going to add the right hand. So what I want to do is kind of focus our position in the right hand within this octave, G. G above middle C, and then the G above that. This is going to be our position. Now, in between with these three fingers, we're going to be playing uh, some melodic notes, but we're going to continue to stay within this G position, this G octave position. All right. So you'll hear as I play this right hand part, bits of the melody that the singer sings. We're going to sort of echo that a little bit. So I'll play the first phrase for you here, and then we'll break it down. All right, let's just stop right there. Notice I start with the octave Gs, but I'm playing my thumb first and then immediately playing my pinky next. Right after that, our second finger here is going to play a B. And we're also going to continue to play the thumb G to sort of add a little beef to the sound. Just like that. Now we're going to reach up and play a C above that B. Again, we're going to add that thumb G, just like that. And we're going to toggle back and forth between this B and C, just like the melody does. All right, so that's going to go now B, C, and then we're going to finish it with a D, and that's our melody there. So we've got G, G, and here comes B, C, B, C, B, C, D. Good. Now notice that I'm sort of adding my thumb G in there as I, as I like. And the reason I can do that is because it's not the melody. We've got the melody on top. This just sort of adds a little color when I do that. So feel free to add that into the mix to, to fatten up the sound. Good. Now the second phrase is pretty similar to that. Except if you notice at the end of it, I come back down in the melody. I'm going to play the D like the first phrase, but then finish it off with a C, B. All right, so let's play that whole second phrase. It starts the same. Here comes B, C, and we'll switch back and forth. Here comes the D. Now we're going to go down to C and B. All right. Let's put them both together, the first and second phrase. Here we go. Ready, go. Second phrase. Good. 
Again, we'll start the third phrase with our octave Gs. And then we're going to go right down from there to a D. And then to a B. Again, still, if you're familiar with the melody, still echoing that vocal melody. So the third phrase, we've got octave Gs. And then D, B. And then we're going to kind of toggle between the G and the B a little bit. Before we jump back up through the scale to an E. And this is, gonna how, this is how we are going to start our fourth phrase. So the third phrase, one more time, octave Gs, coming down to a D, down to a B. We're going to toggle a bit, and then we're going to go up the scale to an E. Now here's how we start our fourth phrase. Here's that E, and then we're going to go down to a B. And then we finally have this little piano figure here that we're going to use to turn back around into the beginning of the entire section again. And that goes like this. A, B, G and D together, and then F sharp and D together with our pointer finger, and then back to G and D together. All right, one more time that goes A, B, G and D, F sharp and D, G and D. So here's that whole fourth phrase, starting with the E on top, and then B, and then A, B, G and D, F sharp and D, G and D. Okay, I know that's a lot there, so let's break it down one phrase at a time through all four phrases, and then we'll put it all back together. So the first phrase, we're going to start with our thumb on the low G octave, and then pinky on the high G octave. All right, let's start that, and then we're going to jump right down to B. B, C, B, C, B, C, D. Now, second phrase. Same thing, if you remember, but we're going to go down from the D, C, B, just like that. Okay? Third phrase, it's a little different here. It starts the same. Jumping right down from the top to a D, and then to a B. And we'll toggle back and forth here. Now, up the scale. C, D, and then finally E for our fourth phrase. And that fourth phrase starts with that E and then goes to B. And then we've got our A, B, G, and D, F sharp, and D, G, and D. Let's put the whole thing together now. I'm going to give you four counts and we'll try to do it all in tempo. Now remember, this is a little slower than the full tempo of the, of the original recording. And that's because we got to practice putting it all together a bit slower before we do it at the full tempo. So here we go from the first phrase of the intro. One, two, ready, go. Second phrase. That's the entire intro for the right hand there. Now, what I want to do is a quick review of the left hand part to see if you remember those notes, and then once you do, to teach you how to put them in with the right hand. So, let's bring left hand back up here. Remember, we're in a G position. All right. So, <clears throat> our first phrase, we're going to start with our pinky on G in the left hand. And that's actually the first note we play in the whole song. So, we're going to start with left hand pinky on G. Then we do our thumb and pinky in the right hand. So check this out. Just like that. Now when I play the C in the right hand, if you remember our left hand note, our next note is C. That's when we go to C. So that's going to sound like this. C. Left hand A for the second phrase, and then D. Okay. Let's put that together one more time. G, here comes C, now A, and D. Now let's keep going. We've got a B in the left hand, and then E. Here comes A, and then D. Let's do that again. Good job, guys. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
Excellent work. So guys, make sure you rewind that and play along with me as many times as you need. We've got a slower tempo in the beginning, and there at the end was our sort of final run through of it. If you can play along with me there, you can play along with the recording. So I'm going to remind you once again, please remember to practice. Remember to have fun while you're practicing. And guys, tune into the next videos where we'll be looking at 100 years, verse, chorus, bridge, everything. And before you know it, you'll be playing the whole song. So guys, I'm Phil. Come back and see me again. Good luck with your practicing.